Good morning everyone, it's Kelly here and this video is going to be doing a little bit of yard work as for my last video. It's kind of a continuation. Now this video we're working on the front area which is right here. We got my brother Ty Ty Yen on Instagram helping me out and this is our project. We are going to go back to the uh, plant store uh, to get some more of these babies. I hope they're going to do good in the summer heat because I asked the lady there and she said they would. So we'll see. I guess if they die we gotta put more plants in. <laughs> but right now we're pretty much taking off the top layer of all this roots and rocks and just rubbish. rubbish. Over here we got some uh, pieces of concrete from when Gabri did the driveway. And I was waiting for him to redo the driveway before I did this because before, I'll show you a before picture of what this looked like, there was like this big V of just dirt and roots, and it was just terrible. The kids, Blue Gabe, myself, would always track a bunch of mud and dirt into the house, so I'm like, y'all need to fill in this with some concrete, because <laughs> I'm tired of sweeping. But right now we're gonna get to it, and I'm bringing y'all along. Good all, but we did find peanut shells, a penny, uh, half of a coconut, and that's it so far. We'll keep you updated on our finds today. You never know what y'all are gonna find in this dirt right here because let's just say Gabe's son Luke, the six-year-old, he's always hiding stuff, burying stuff, throwing stuff in the yard, so you never know what we're gonna find. Let me tell y'all something about this root right here. I'm pretty sure those are the like the extension roots from that one tree that was right here. That was a pain in the butt. I'm letting Tyler doing the dirty work. Don't fall on your butt. Gosh. Like, these roots are insane. Yeah. It's three feet tall. Yeah. And the tree was all the way right here before we put the driveway in. It's taller than Luke. Yeah, it is. All right, you got this. You're almost done. All right. Tie tie yard work. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. That's the one you were going for? That's it. <laughs> you want the machete? Probably. Just bought this bad boy. Just I'm just a weak boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Machete. Now I'll try pulling it. See, that made it a little better. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there we go, beautiful. All right, we are almost ready to go to the stove. Before we go to Home Depot, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent. We're out here in the backyard where it is loaded with mosquitoes and bugs. Now, the really cool thing about Ben's is they have a spray and wipes. And I love the wipes because you can just throw them in your fanny pack, throw them in your hunting bag, throw them in your fishing tackle box, and they're always there for when you need them. Another thing Ben's does for you is it helps prevent against disease carrying insects. Your mosquitoes, your noceums, your ticks, um, let's see. What else do we got? 
Oh, it also helps prevent chiggers and biting flies. Now, I don't know if you've ever got bit by a biting fly, but it kind of hurts. One time I was in the middle of the ocean in Boston catching a bluefin tuna and a, fl a fly bit me on the leg, like a fly in the middle of the ocean. And I wish I would have had Ben's out there. And when I'm talking about disease carrying insects, I'm talking about the Zika virus, the Lyme disease from ticks and the West Nile. Another amazing thing about this bug spray, it is a water-based formula. Therefore, the bug spray isn't going to evaporate off your skin or helping it last longer. So two of my favorite things about this bug spray is that it is environmentally friendly. So it emits no ozone harming propellants into the atmosphere and it's fragrance free. So for all of my hunters and people who just don't like the smell of strong, harsh bug sprays, fragrance free. For example, myself, Blue Gabe, and the kids were out here setting um, crawfish traps last night and I was prepared with Ben's tick and insect repellent because back here in the woods, we have so many mosquitoes back here. I even have an intro of one of my videos where I had, I think, two to three mosquitoes on my face and I didn't even know it. We got a lot of mosquitoes back here, but thankfully we had the Ben's. We were good. We were golden, we were setting traps and we were just living life. You guys, live outdoors, bite free. Feel free, go in the description below, click the link, and check out Ben's Take an Insect Repellent. You won't regret it. All right, now I gotta get back to gardening, and we'll see y'all at Home Depot. We just got to Home Depot. We're getting some mulch, some soil, picking out a few plants. Um, there's a big nursery that I planned on going to, However, if I can find what I need at Home Depot, I might just make one stop and get everything I need here. So, color of mulch. Hmm. I want like the beige mulch. Tyler's my lifter. We're getting two bags of the cypress mulch. Watch my plants. Alright. Professional mulch. That's what we're using. Yeah. Step two, find some rocks. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going by color. We got some white rocks. We got some little small pea pebble rocks. Big old clunky rocks the size of your fist. I kind of like that. River pebbles. So I think I've made a decision. I was going to go with the white rock, but I think the white rock on the white driveway might be just too white. So I'm going with the beige river pebbles. All right, this is your calling. No, are you sure? Of course. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. We're probably gonna need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. 10 bags, 15, 15, 20, 20 bags. Oh, that's a chart. It's probably, it's probably what, three by I get, let's just get 20 bags. Uh, let's get 25, let's just get 25 bags. We'll get 25 bags and we have to come back, we gotta come back. So I found this other plant that caught my eye. I just need to look up the care for it real quick. It is this one. Whatever this is. A Daniella. They look pretty hardy. Let's see. D I uh, no D I A N E L L A. And it says they need like six plus hours of sun. maintenance they're easy to grow require little maintenance which is what i'm looking for um doesn't tolerate standing water which is good because the area does not hold water all right and they're very tolerant to drought so probably around like one o'clock to the rest of the day that front area gets scorching hot so i think those might be our best bet grab a couple of these Well, everything's loaded up. This is a lot more work than I thought. But, 
we're gonna get it done either today or tomorrow. I know Gabe wants to go fishing and it's a pretty nice day out to go fishing, but this project has been on my mind for so long and I'm like in the mood to get it done, but we'll see. We'll see all back at the house. <sighs> yeah. What a bum. You're a bum. All right, hush, I'm filming. You need to be quiet now. Guys, this is Blue Gape, if y'all don't know already. He's mega redneck of the south. I need help. Redneck, come here. Hello. <laughs> y'all, let's see what Tyler found on Treasure Hunters of the Day. <laughs> well, <laughs> the most important thing you... in the world. The box that's been sitting in the house for two weeks. That's power poles, the new ones. We <laughs> gotta put them on the boat. Tyler, what did you just find digging up in here? Right down there, so. Oh. Gabe, what year is this shot shell from? Let me see. I don't think it's a shot shell, but we just found it. It's definitely just a piece of copper pipe. Hey, copper's worth money, right? There you go. Some of us got work to do today. <laughs> this area is so full of roots, dirt that doesn't even look nutritionist. <clears throat> nutritionist, is that the right word? Nutritional. Nutritional. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rocks, pieces of cement, pieces of copper. Like, we just picked up this thing that was about four inches underground. It's either a rock or really, really compacted dirt. It's an elephant skull. It's, an, it's probably an elephant turd. I'm pretty sure it's just hardened like clay. Let's see. Yep. That is some thick dirt right there, boy. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Redneck, what are we gonna do? This has been a project, to say the least. But when it's all said and done, I'm gonna be so happy. Redneck, you helping? Yeah, you're not, you're not very much help. Keep on digging. So I went back to the plant nursery and I finally picked out exactly what plants I'm going to use. I was going to use these, which you guys saw, but I believe they're going to get a little too big. So I went with these ones, these ones, which bunnies love to eat these, and these succulents here. And what I'm doing is I'm just staggering them like so. The coconuts means I need to get another succulent. Boom, 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 boom. You guys, it is way too hot out here. Blue Gabe is making like three videos today. He just cleaned some dolphin, um, mahi mahi, a big old amberjack, and a really cool bottom fish <clears throat> that is very harmful if you touch it, but you can eat it. Now, right now, I'm gonna send my brother. He's gonna go get everything else I need, and then we're gonna come back, work on it a little more. Put the soil down as you can see here. Then hopefully water it all down and lay the rock. I'm gonna steal, steal this real quick. Okay. Sorry if I got cheese and fish in my teeth. I just had one of Blue Gabe's dishes and right now myself and my brother are planting these plants. Now I'm just taking a board here as you can see because we did dig um, a lot of this just like dry chalky dirt out of here and we're putting like nice moist nutrition 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 what nutritional soil in here so we have a board <clears throat> we're lining it up with the pavement right here straight and so the base of the plant is going to meet up with the bottom of the board so that's kind of giving us like our outline on like where to plant these plants and how deep of a hole we do need to dig because i mean the soil isn't that level to where you can just plant them. So like this one and this plant, we literally just took right out of the pot, set them on the ground, and then just piled the soil around it. As for that one, we had to dig about two inches in order to set it in. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if this is like too many plants, but I don't know. This is my first time actually like making a little landscape other than just like planning just random plants here and there in my life. So, um, 
It's not too many it's, plants. It's too many plants. My brother thinks it's too many plants. I think it's the perfect amount of plants. In the comments below, let me know if you think this is too many or not enough plants. So these will get about like double in size. So they'll be about yay big. The succulents kind of stay the same. They might get a little taller. And then those will probably get about double in size. So about yay big as well. So none of the plants should really collide with each other. Tyler, you should be a gardener. I knew it. Shout out Sean Gardner. There you go. <laughs> Ty Ty Gardner. All right, so we got a lot of work to do. are but they have been a pain in the butt what's up since you're out here at blue game y'all <laughs> check out vacation. check out my nails right now those i think your, i i think you might owe me a manicure those are your back scratches i'm gonna need a manicure what i want to do is dig just about an inch lower in the gravel i'm gonna get so many comments for not having shoes on <laughs> gotta deal with them roots Yank them suckers out. Dude, in a normal person's yard, they wouldn't have the root issue. For some reason, this house, whoever had it before Gabe, I don't know what you did, but the roots are terrible. So we lowered the ground level a little bit. We're just gonna squeeze our pot like this, loosen it up. Boom. Stick that baby right there. Now all these roots are dead. They've been dead ever since Gabe even moved in this house. So they're not gonna be regrowing anything. Sit the plant right there. We have our soil. And we're just gonna dump the soil around the plant. It's actually a little bit lower. I might have dug a little too much. I just been breaking up this soil with my hands so it's not all clumpy. I mean we are going to water all of this down once we're done but you're going to create almost a new layer of soil with this potting soil and you're going to meet up to the surface level of that plant. Now something I've actually learned in the past few, um, actually this past year of just kind of getting into the whole planting thing is never to bury the base of the plant. I always thought you wanted that sucker in the ground. Well, I just recently planted banana trees in the backyard a few months back and I planted them and I had all the dirt and soil like up around the base of the tree. And Gabe walked out and he's like, whoa, 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 no, you're not, you're never supposed to cover that base root of the tree. You wanna create like a moat around the tree that when you, when you water it, you literally create a moat around the tree. So that's something I've learned. I'm um, just getting into this whole planting thing, which I love it, but there's so much to learn, it's insane. I just got a bunch of milkweed for butterflies that I'm in the process of planting. So it's gonna be pretty busy and eventful around here. It has been an extremely long day to say the least. Now, right now, all the soil is around the plants. We have, to our best knowledge, have tried to make the plants as level with the driveway as we could. So now I'm gonna lightly mist with water and just use my hands and really pack that soil in. We 
We have made such a mess out here, it's insane. Alrighty. Now we gotta get the hands dirty. I almost tripped over that bag of pebbles. <laughs> Next step, we are laying the mulch around the plants, and then the fun part, the rock. By the way, if y'all are like professional gardeners, this is our first time ever doing this, so cut us some slack if we're doing something wrong. working on it. I gotta go get another battery for my GoPro, but it's looking good so far. We are definitely gonna need some more rocks. That's all right, because I can always go get some more. But the colors are looking fabulous. I'm loving the colors, nice and bright. I'm happy I went with the beige rock instead of the white. So it's the next day and I did get some more rock that I have been laying out. Um, except for over there, Gabriel's dad did have to dig some rock up because he needed to check the sprinkler system right here. So that's not really done yet, but that's okay. Now I'm going to tell you guys the names of these plants because I don't think I did in the video just because I didn't really know the names of them. All I do is I look it up real quick and I'm like, all right, they're good in sun, golden. I like how they look. So da -da -da. Uh, this one right here is a Dianella. Dianella lily. I'm probably butcher butchering that word. And it gets full sun and water every 10 to 14 days. So it's perfect because it's matched up with this succulent here, which is a jade plant. These ones right here. And they get water like once every two weeks. So those two paired really well together. Now the little one back here with the purple flowers that the bunnies eat, they are called Shaggy Dwarf Morning Glory. And I'm not really sure how much or they do like how much to water them um but when i talked to the lady who worked at the plant place um she's like they do really well with uh, low water and high sun so i was like all right bingo throw them in my truck but right now this video is ending i want to give a huge thank you to everyone watching this video and if you got to this point in the video i'm gonna show you all a little sneak peek of what we have to come myself and blue gabe went and picked up three feathery friends this morning and i cannot wait to get fresh eggs. I guess I'm gonna show you guys right now. Uh, just a little clip because I'm so excited. <laughs> we got a little coop the other day and we're finally putting some chickens in it, so. And just a reminder, be sure to check out the link below with Ben's insect and bug repellent because y'all, if you guys are in the outdoors, that stuff is the ish. Just this past weekend, I was out on the ranch and <laughs> getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. I used the Ben's wipes on my whole body, My my arms, my neck, my legs, and I was mosquito repellent. Like, literally, I gave some to my boyfriend's dad, and I watched a mosquito, like, go to his face and literally turn around and fly the other way. I've never witnessed that in my life before. I thought that was funny. I wish I could have got it on film for y'all, but anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit a thumbs up, and comment below. See y'all next time. See ya!